Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In this video, I'll be covering warning signs and symptoms of esophageal cancer, according to the National Institute for Clinical Excellence guidelines. Now, just to make this video as clear and as easy to understand as possible, another word that you might use for the esophagus is the gullet or the food pipe. So the guideline is pretty clear and suggests that if a patient comes to see you with certain red flag symptoms, you should offer an urgent direct upper GI endoscopy, which which is essentially a camera test to be done within two weeks to look for potential esophageal cancer in patients who've got one of two things, dysphagia or weight loss in people aged 55 or over with certain accompanying symptoms. So the first important red flag symptom that would warrant a two week weight referral is dysphagia. And that's the medical term for difficulty swallowing. People with dysphagia might present with coughing or choking when they're eating, drinking, and no matter what the person's age, they should be referred urgently for the direct camera test. The second important symptom that requires an urgent two-week weight referral is weight loss and certain accompanying symptoms. So it's important to make sure that there's an urgent referral made for people aged 55 and over with weight loss and any of upper abdominal pain, reflux, which the patient might describe as heartburn, or dyspepsia, which could present as indigestion. So that's the first part of the guideline covered, the patients who need to be referred on a two-week wait rule urgently for direct upper GI endoscopy. So now let's cover the next part of the guideline, which deals with those patients who might have cancer, but rather than a two-week wait referral, they need a non-urgent direct access upper GI endoscopy to assess for esophageal cancer. So if a person is aged 55 and over and has one of four important symptoms, they need to be referred. The first important symptom is treatment resistant dyspepsia. And that's essentially reflux that isn't responding to a course of medicine such as omeprazole or lifestyle changes. The second is upper abdominal pain with low hemoglobin levels. The third is a raised platelet count with any of the following symptoms. So nausea, vomiting, weight loss, reflux, dyspepsia, or upper abdominal pain. And the fourth is nausea or vomiting with any of the following. So weight loss, reflux, dyspepsia, or upper abdominal pain. These will all need a referral. Finally, anyone with hematemesis, which is where there is blood in the vomit, will also need a referral for an upper GI endoscopy, which is the camera test. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this was useful. And if you're a patient who's concerned or worried about anything that I've discussed in this video, please see your doctor. If you found the content useful, please subscribe to the channel for new medical education content, which I produce every Wednesday and Sunday. And until next time, Bye.